Welcome everyone to maybe my favorite tutorial ever. I am really digging this look. I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more smoky, and I feel like I haven't done like a brown smoky eye in a while, so I came up with this. I know a lot of you are a fan of my neutral looks, but I wanted to do something neutral just kicked up like eight notches. I have to apologize in advance because my house is being torn apart out there, so you might hear some hammering and sawing and some sounds that I can't even identify. So anyway, I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial. All right, since this is a very shadow, dark shadow heavy look, I'm going to start with the eyes first, beginning with my primer. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger directly into my crease and then just blend it out into my lid and into my brow bone. So the palette that I'm going to be using is from Tarte, and this is part of their holiday collection. It's this bad boy right here. So this is a nice selection of neutrals, some mattes, some shimmers, and also a good uh, range of cool tones down here and a few up here too. But the colors I'm going to stick with mostly for this look are these right here. The dark brown, the medium transition color, the bronzy shimmer, and also the black shadow. You want to know something? They were so quiet today like the first day that they weren't making that much noise. The minute I sat down to shoot this tutorial, all of a sudden they're drilling, they're sawing, they're just making all kinds of noise. Bear with me, please. Now, the first color that I'm gonna go into is this right here. It's like a nice transition color, very good neutral medium shade. And I'm using my Morphe 441 brush. I've had this weird sideburn thing going on. I don't know where it came from, but let's just tuck that back. So this I'm gonna start right at the crease even though I'm gonna apply a dark color to the actual lid for me it just makes it a lot easier to make everything look nice and blended if I still begin with a transition color at my crease just circle 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 everywhere next up I'm taking a slightly shimmery color it's this bronze shade right here I'm just really going to load up my brush because this is going to go onto the lid, so I want a lot of it. So I'm going to start by just patting this onto my lids, starting at the center and then blending it out. I don't want to go past the crease and then just blend it out and sort of blend it in with that transition color. So again, pressing the color in just makes it show up a lot more rich instead of like swiping it. So now that I have my transition color and my lid color, I'm gonna move on to a darker shade, which is this matte dark brown color right down here. That's the blush, never mind, I meant this one. So for this, I'm gonna use a much smaller and more dense brush because I don't wanna cover a lot of area with this. So I'm just gonna dot this all along my lash line. And this is gonna go just about halfway up toward my crease. Sort of creating a gradient effect because after this I'm going to add a black color so that's going to be the darkest and then the dark brown and then the shimmer brown and then the transition color. Alright now with an even smaller brush I'm going to jump right into that matte black color. So with this I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing as the matte brown but I'm just not going up as far. I'm going to keep it closer to the lash line. So. Starting at the lash line, just going to press that color in and blend it up very slightly, just about a quarter of the way up. So continuing to add a little bit more black, just really close to the lash line. And then just blending up slightly. So I'm gonna drag this up just a little bit more so it matches the other eye. I like how much darker this got. So I'm just going to pat that up a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna go back to that brush, the matte brown brush, and then just use that to blend it out. Just blend that black and that brown together. Now that I'm pretty much done with the eyeshadow on the top lids, I'm going to go ahead and clean my face because there's shadow everywhere. So I'm just using a makeup remover wipe to take any excess shadow. I don't know why it's all the way down my chin, but I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. And once I get to the outer corner of my eyes, I don't really want to create like a sharp 
line. That's just not my style. I like it to be a little bit more diffused. So I'm just gonna kind of dot the makeup remover wipe around this area and just try to fade it out. So we're gonna give the eyes a rest and move on to the face. I'm gonna start with my Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer. This has kind of been my favorite lately. It's worked really well with pretty much every foundation I've used it with. So I'm just gonna dab that on. For my foundation, I'm gonna use one of my favorites, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I usually use sand, but this time I'm using warm beige. So I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand and use my beauty blender and just start stippling this into my skin. So once I'm done with the foundation, just using whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just kind of gonna lightly dab the outer edge of the eyeshadow just to make it look nice and blended. Next, we're gonna conceal with the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the Dark Circle Eraser in Medium. I'm just going to apply that directly first in that triangle formation under my eyes. And then get into a little bit into the forehead. And now using this little brush from Tarte, I'm just gonna start blending this out. And this is really gonna brighten up the area under my eyes. Give it that nice contrast with the contour I'm about to lay down. And now this for me is a little bit extra bright, so I'm gonna go back to my foundation, and I'm not gonna put any more foundation on it, but just with whatever's on there, I'm just gonna give it one little pat over that concealer. Something smells really good, and I don't know what it is. To set my under eyes in the concealer, I'm gonna use my favorite, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is just gonna go under my eyes and set that concealer or that dark circle eraser. And you guys know my go-to contour product is the Motives uh, Sculpt Series Contour Palette. I usually mix up the last two colors. Just gonna apply with my finger. And this is just going in the usual spots, maybe a little bit more dramatic this time because it is a smoky eye look. Of course, the schnoz. And then going back to the Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna use the same foundation side to blend this all out. And there goes that hammering. The contour just makes all the difference in the world. Look at how much it warmed up my face and just kind of brought it off. I mean, obviously I'm not done yet, but it just kind of brought everything together. Now for my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm gonna use pretty much just this one brush. This is from the Tarte Holiday Collection and I just kind of wipe it off before I use the next product but it's such a good brush for everything for the blush, the highlight, and the bronzer. So the first one I'm going to start off with is the blush which I'm going to try to dip into without touching that black eyeshadow. So I'm just going to dust that on. It's a good neutral color for a smoky eye. It's not going to compete with the eye makeup. Now I'm going into my Betty Luminizer and I'm just going to use this to add an all over glow to my face. I don't want this to be concentrated in any one area. That's why I'm using this brush. It's like nice and feathery. So this is just going to kind of go all over in my eye too. <laughs> so again, just adding a nice bronze glow all over. And in fact, I think I'm just going to skip the highlighter altogether. I don't want this to be too glowy of a look, so I think that Betty Luminizer was just enough glow for me. Now I want to finish up the eyes, including the bottom uh, lash line and some liner and mascara and lashes, obviously. So hitting that bottom lash line, I'm going to take a smudge brush first and dip into that transition color, that very first color we used, and make sure to give that a tap so it doesn't fall under your cheeks again. So I'm going to apply that just under my lash line so we can build some darkness over it. So now with that same brush, I'm just gonna dip into the dark brown, the matte dark brown shade. So again, this is just gonna go over that first color and just darken up 
the lash line. Now, going in with my favorite eyeliner pencil ever. This is truly the best. It's by Hourglass. It's their 1.5 millimeter um, pencil in black. I'm just gonna start darkening up the inner rim of my top lash line first. And I'm also going to line my waterline with this. So going into the center first, just kind of darkening up that lash line. So first I'm just gonna give my lashes just one coat of mascara just to darken them up. I'm not really gonna care about making them really long and full just because I'm putting lashes on anyway. Now the falsies that I'm using for this look are the House of Lashes Noir Fairy. These have been one of my favorites for a couple years now, but I tend to cut them pretty short. I mean, they come really long, but I can't put them on in my eyes just that way because I don't have super wide set eyes, so if I put them on just the length that they are, it comes all the way to the inner corner of my eye and it makes my eyes look like really narrow. It creates like a weird illusion. So if you have wide set eyes, totally do that. But me, I like to make my eyes appear like that nice cat eye shape. So I cut them pretty short and I put them on the outer part of my lash line. So it just creates that upturned illusion as opposed to making them look closer together. So I'm just going to carefully lower that onto my lash line. Make sure I get it exactly where I want it. And the goal for me is to feel that wet glue on my lash line so I know I've put it exactly where it's supposed to go. Now onto the brows. I'm using the Brow Wiz in Soft Brown just to really lightly fill in my brows. Nothing too intense because this is already an intense look. Moving on to my favorite part of this look, the lips. I'm gonna use a combination of liner, lipstick, and gloss, which I don't normally do. I'm starting out with Tootsie by ColourPop. It's a nice creamy lip liner. And I'm just gonna use this to contour my lips first. Now for the lipstick and the lip gloss, I'm using this combo. This is the 20th anniversary special lipstick and lip gloss by Lorac. These are corresponding lipstick and lip glosses. So they both have the same name. It's basically the same color just in lipstick form and then in gloss form. So I'm just gonna use both because they're both pretty awesome. This color is without a doubt the best nude I've ever used and the color is called Visionary. So now to finish it off, I'm just going to go over it with the gloss. And that is it for this look. I really think this might be my favorite dramatic makeup look that I've ever done. I just think the colors, there's such a harmony about them, everything goes so nicely together. I'm looking myself down here in the monitor. I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And of course, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think.